Originally, I was going to do two layers inside of these buckets. I was going to do um, one paint strainer full of clay pebbles and then do a second paint strainer full of these rock wool cubes, the little fill cubes. Um, I filled up a bag or a filter, paint filter of clay pebbles and I sat in there and realized I was going to need a huge amount. So what I did instead is, instead of the clay pebbles, I cut a piece of foam and the foam fits in there tight, but I found that it's not necessarily stable. So I went ahead and put in a couple of little supports, push the foam down on those supports. And then I filled a bag full of rock wool, some old stuff that I had trimmed off of bigger cubes, and then the smaller stuff on top. Soaked it in water, and then planted in the AOK -okay cubes into it. Um, now this is not 100% done yet. You can see here a little bit of a texture difference. I didn't put as many cubes in here you see how much this is moving around this one I have a lot more in and it is more stout you know more more strength than there I don't think it's gonna matter either way um, but this is cilantro this is I can never remember <laughs> and uh, I think I'm gonna do is carrots this is going to be my new carrot attempt for 2018. I'm going to do this, but I'm going to plant carrots over here. So that's, that's the plan. Carrots. I need to look to see when I planted those because I don't think I documented it. Today, ladies and gentlemen, is April 7th and these are my carrots. I believe I planted the seeds on January 27th so they are well over their 65 day grow period and you can see that the stems are starting to fall down and limp. Not, they're not limp, they're just getting too big and laying down. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and harvest these and see how they turned out. Hopefully this goes easy since I grew them in a 
five gallon bucket with a paint strainer in it. You know what? I have rubber bands. I'm going to rubber band those up for a second. Get a little bit of a close up of the bases here. And look how big those look from the top. Let's go ahead and pull this paint strainer out. We'll set it into this temporary bucket. And uh, see what we can do. Look at those roots. They were down to the bottom of the bucket through the paint strainer. That's kind of what I was hoping for. So, suppose this is not what I was thinking. I set this in here. So that paint strainer was sitting up on top of this. And you can see I left some roots in there. Nice. It's kind of what I wanted. A little bit of water down there, just in case something happened. And then this is what it was sitting on. So let's go ahead and get these out of the rock wool and lay them out so we can see them. Suppose, yeah, let's try to make this a little easier to see. I'll set the same setup in here to lift this up a little bit now. There we go. Let's see if we can get one of these out of here. Try to get it so you can see. We have a carrot. There's one. Let's 
set these over here. Oops. There's two. Three. Decent looking one for Now I'll have to look up and see what kind of carrots these were. I think um, they were Scarlet Nance and oh, I can't remember the other one. But I'll have to look them up and see. And they're coming out quite easily. I'm just being gender or gentle with them. Little stubby there. Might have got stuck in one of the sides of the net there. So not too bad. Not too bad if I say so myself. Perhaps next time I do this I won't do the fish net maybe I'll just fill the whole bucket full or the the paint strainer maybe I'll fill the whole bucket full of the rock wool so that these don't accidentally grow into the net themselves and then uh, choke them off but I don't know if this was choked off it might have been choked off but pretty good haul for a trial. I've never done this before and I've tried growing carrots a few different ways in hydroponics and so far this is my most successful. So get some of this out of here. I'm going to take these carrots inside, wash them up, and I'll show them to you inside. All right, guys, here we are in the kitchen, all scrubbed up. I had a little tail on the bottom of one of these that I um, went ahead and ate. Nice and uh, carroty taste, juicy, pretty good. Um, 
quite happy with this. This is about four, four, you know, to the orange spot, I would say about four inches for these three. I want to say these are Scarlet Nance, and I'll, I'll look them up and see what those both are. But there we go. There's the carrot harvest. Next time I do this, I will do it without the paint strainer so that I don't get any choking at the bottom of the carrots. So, thanks for watching.